visit friends and relatives over the holidays, you'll likely notice that each home has a unique scent. But you probably can't smell your own house. That had us wondering, how does nose blindness work? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell sniffed out the answer with an odor scientist who's researched the phenomenon for years. So what does your home smell like, you think? <laughs> well, I have two, a nine and 10 year old, two boys and an 80 pound Doberman where I make dog treats. Every home has a distinct smell. So my house smells like outside play on the playground and carrots, applesauce and pumpkin and peanut butter. I have a friend and I'm not gonna say who it is, but their house smells like soup. My kids' home smell clean. It's not a bad smell, but it like just, they don't eat a lot of soup, but it always smells like soup. And that always sticks with you, that thought. For sure. Chances are your home smells just as strong to other people. Why can't we notice our own home? the smell, but you can notice everyone else's. There are a couple of reasons. Pamela Dalton is an odor scientist. There's really two places where we stop smelling. The first place is in our nose, and that happens very quickly. But over time, our brain will start to filter out some of these signals because it just doesn't make sense for us to pay attention to them anymore. She says familiar and pleasant smells fall to the wayside first, allowing room for our brains to alert us to new smells. It's not new information coming in anymore to your brain. It's stuff your brain already knows. That's what I think. How long does it take for our nose to adapt to a smell? You will see a reduction in intensity of about 50% within the first minute. Minute. So it happens very rapidly. Even as quick as a second sniff. I notice the smell of my home when we go on vacation and when we're gone for like a week or so, then we come back, then I, I'm reintroduced to the smell. Dalton says that's when you'll experience the smell of your home the way visitors do. That's often distressing for people. But what's interesting is you will adapt very quickly, much faster that time because you already know what your home smells like. An adapted process designed to keep us safe. I think that one of the most important things that our sense of smell does is it keeps us from danger. So in that respect, it makes sense that we're not always paying attention to the good smells around us because we need our nose and our brain to be alert and able to respond to a new odor that might be a, a problem. With photojournalist Mike Dernberger. We're not quite as good as many animals, but we're not bad at all. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. So before you spritz that second or a third spray of perfume or cologne, Dalton says, remember, your nose may have already adjusted to it, but others might find it to be strong.